What's going on to all my Sagittarius? So you have the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups, the Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Page of Wands, Eight of Cups, Two of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so um all right so what i'm seeing here is is that a lot of you sagittarius you have the five of pentacles the ten of swords and the seven of cups right so the five of pentacles is is, is about how that's interesting okay so these three cards so the five of pentacles and the ten of swords and the seven of cups is about how you sagittarius was bringing certain things to the table but unfortunately right which is the five of pentacles but unfortunately the ten of swords and the seven of cups it some people didn't think that that was enough to actually keep them around The Ten of Swords is, is that they still end up being very oblivious to you, acting like, <clears throat> excuse me, acting like they didn't have any common sense, ignoring you, right? Ignoring that whatever type of relationship they was depressed about, you were already there, all in their face, trying to do right by them. And they played hard to ignore you. Because, see, that's another thing, too, that keeps a lot of people very single. Is that when people are out here thinking that people are replaceable, they try their hardest to act like they don't see it. They, they do, because it's an act. The idea that, you know, oh, why can't I find a good individual? There's nobody out here. Da -da 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 -da. When you got people, regardless of who they are, because a lot of people do it it's not based off of one group a lot of people not everybody but a lot of people do it they will they will deliberately ignore somebody that's well-rounded literally in front of their face they'll be like oh well, how come i can't find this <laughs> and then the things that the seven of cups represents here how you know you 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 sagittarius tried your best you did the best you could and this person tried their hardest to act like they didn't see you there. So now a lot of you Sagittarius are like, yeah, you're done. You know, you showed you, you tried to, you know, you could have did more if you were in a relationship, but they kept you out of it because they're really playing games forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Right. So those people are going to essentially, you know, they're not they're, they're not the marriage type. They're not really going to they're not really going to be in a relationship. They're not really going to, you know, if, if, if marriage is their thing, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you know, piece of paper or whatever or, or whatever. They're not getting there. They're not getting there, Sagittarius, because they're dysfunctional. These, these are the type of dysfunctional people to look through somebody who is good for them now if that doesn't scream dysfunctionality to you i don't know what will you may you may need to have some more um experiences before you understand that you know there is no talking to these type of people or making up excuses for that you just have to leave them alone right because the thing is that the hermit and the will of fortune is about how um because again some of them have even kind of like started to separate themselves from you but now it's like they're throwing you up underneath the proverbial bus right where they can see you right in front of their face but they're so interested and deep in this game they're going deeper into the they're going deeper into the ignorance and as a result of this they're playing that game where now they're not picking up the phone for you they're not calling you anymore right they're going hermit now 
now they're doing that to you, right? But they have the mentality of, oh, I can just go ahead and get another one of you. When that may not necessarily be the truth at all. They're really messing up on an opportunity playing these games that they plan. So the page of wands is this is just another uh, justification for you to leave because these people are not functional at all. They people who do stuff like this are are really lame. You know, as a matter of fact, you can check out a YouTube channel called um, Alux. Right. I think I may post it here, but you can check out um, um, Alux. Right. Um, a L U X. And one of the topics that Alux was talking about is how to spot how to spot a dysfunctional partner. And a lot of the stuff that I'm telling you, Alux basically proved my point when they came out later and did the video after I I was I was already talking about this, right? Because I didn't get it from them. They, you know what I mean? Uh I was talking about this first and they just so happened to make the video. But the thing is that the uh the four of uh excuse me, the eight of cups now, right? The eight of cups represents this being a situation for you where the uh the eight of cups now is about how so this is about building yourself back after you know people try to use you. It's a it's a it's a painful experience how you know um how much they act like that or the disrespect that you get and you get the two of cups so two and eight is ten right now ten usually represent endings right it represents some sort of high point right before you you end a, a relationship or something like this so this is very important because this is about how you Sagittarius have to understand that you were the right ones in a sense that you were well-rounded. I was just telling Capricorn this, but we're living in a world where the more functional you are and well-rounded, people are so interested in competing. They do a bunch of, of just, you know, they do a bunch of real dysfunctional things. Like remember the Popeyes, right? And I'm, and I'm drawing an analogy to this. Remember Popeyes, the chicken sandwich? Right. Why, why is it that so many people had to go out? Why, why was it such a, 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 you know, a trend? Why, why is it that so many people did the things that they did? They did the things that they did because it was trendy. Competition and trends is what is what gets a lot of people to be gassed up to do the things, a lot of the stuff that they do. And in one of my videos, I'm going to actually talk about competition and why a lot of people, sorry, my nose, but why it is a lot of people are really caught out here slipping, so to speak, or really sitting ducks out here because of this, com this overly competitive mindset. Because this overly competitive mindset, my dear Sagittarius, really got a lot of people out here looking ridiculous. They're out here looking very they out here looking like a circus i'll say that and so the eight of cups and the two of cups is about how you have to maintain your own dignity right and that understand that you know you may want to be in a relationship you may want to be in one you may want this person uh you know or or to be in one in general but you're not necessarily going to be in one as of right now because a lot of people are tripping. Now, this this inflation thing is, you know, it's starting to it's starting to scare some people. So you, you even have if, if you Sagittarius have are on point, you Sagittarius are gonna have to realize that you're gonna have to be selective anyway. Now, you Sagittarians are gonna do your own thing. The Sagittarius is a zodiac sign that likes to do their, to do their own thing. By all means, do that. Um, the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles is um, that the Knight of Wands is 
Just be very selective about the type of people who you're hanging around. Eight of Pentacles, right? And do your best to, to never lead with your wallet, right? You don't want to be so enthusiastic when it comes to being in a relationship, so eager to be in one to the point where you find yourself in a situation where you end up talking a little bit too much because desperation is out here, all right? Streets is desperate. There's a lot of people who are getting in relationships who don't want to be in relationships for the sole purpose of leeching off somebody else. So let's clarify the Knight of Wands. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands. Okay, so Queen of Swords, the Fool, Page of Pentacles. Don't let the other, don't let people know that you're onto them. You can ghost them. And for future references, don't you don't have to tell people you're onto them because then that sounds the alarm in their head. You don't want that happening. So then you have the fool. Um, don't be afraid to walk away, right? Once you've determined, right, that these people are dysfunctional, no matter who they are. Don't be afraid to walk away because you're not missing anything. You're really not. And then you have the page of wands. The page of wands is, is this being a situation. Wow. Sorry about that. This being a situation where uh, understand that you have a lot to bring to a relationship. All right. And don't doubt that, you know, as long as you don't um, overemphasize on that. As long as you don't become arrogant because of that, as long as you maintain your own decency, you should be good. Um, comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Okay, I would like to get the YouTube channel to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. <coughs> as of right now, I have 1,936 subscribers. Um, if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, my email address, Kareem Spareworks at yahoo.com is in the description box below. Um, but the link to my website that I have, which you can uh, get a private reading from there, you could pay for it there. You could also look at my services. The link to that is in the description box as well as the pinned comment uh, below, uh, excuse me, the pinned comment in the comment section below, as well as the, uh, the link to where to get my book on Amazon as well. So I really appreciate it. Comment, like, subscribe, 